Did you know you can eat pasta and lose weight? Hi, this is Chef Pachi with an amazing pasta with roasted tomatoes and the secret of how to eat pasta and not gain weight. So, first we're gonna cook our pasta and today I'm cooking some garbanzo or chickpea pasta. And it is delicious, but you can use any kind of pasta you want your favorite, it all works the same. Now we're gonna roast some Roma tomatoes. All you have to do is take a baking pan, line it, add some oil, sprinkle with a little bit of salt and pepper, place your half tomatoes, then add some herb, dry or fresh. I use thyme, oregano, basil, my, eight, my favorite herb, and I add a couple of heads of garlic, of which I cut off the tops. I also add the herbs to the garlic. This way, they too absorb the aromas and flavor. Choose the herb you want, your favorite. I dry them in the refrigerator, and you can watch the video of how I do it so that you never have any of your herbs spoiled. I place my tomatoes onto a baking pan and cook them at 275 during one and a half hours. You don't have to look at them or turn them or anything. They cook on your own. You can work or have fun, do whatever you want. And when you come back, it's done. All you have to do, place it in a bowl. Take your head of garlic, use one by the way, and add it all into the tomatoes. Mix your tomatoes with your garlic and that's your sauce. Amazing! You don't have to add anything, no wine, no sugar, no anything of the other extra ingredients that people add to their marinara sauce. This is it. It's done, ready. So it cooks for a long time because they roast and that's what makes them sweet and aromatic. But you don't have to be there, so no problem. Now our pasta is ready and of course it didn't take an hour and a half but I roasted my tomatoes earlier and I'm going to show you what to do if you have guests or if you want to take a little longer to eat your pasta. Add one of those, one or more of those roasted garlics to a plate or your serving dish, drizzle some olive oil, a pinch of salt and pepper and mix it with your pasta. This way you can serve it right away and you can also reheat it because that oil is not going to let it stick. That's it. Now you can add that delicious mix of roasted tomatoes with garlic and you're ready to go. You can decorate your pasta with some fresh basil leaves and you can eat it anytime. Remember I said you can eat pasta and lose weight? Well, yes, according to Dr. Clyde Wilson from Stanford University, if you have your pasta or your pizza or your burger or whatever kind of bread or processed grain, if you eat a cruciferous vegetable salad with it, with or before your pasta or carb meal. Pretty large cruciferous vegetable salad. The salad has to be bigger than the amount of your pasta or bread and if it's twice as much, you could even lose weight. I have a couple of those salads coming at the end of the video. One you see right now and the other one. They're both different kinds of salads, but they're both cruciferous vegetables. For the recipe, go under the video and go to the links and watch both. Delicious salads. Every time you have a card, Eat it right before your meal, and that is it. It's gonna help you lose weight. And I could do it just with a watercress, or I could do it with a cabbage. I'm showing you how I can do it with both. Every meal, a meal that's gonna help you lose weight or at least maintain your weight. Remember, with Chef Pachi, delicious food, amazing mood. Enjoy, Chef Pachi. Subscribe and turn on the bell for recipe updates.